bit of a touch up on the chrome, but you just look at the. Well, it's not chaos, but there's just cars everywhere. Here we go. Ooh. There's a bit going on in the background. Holy spray that was. Yeah. As everyone tries to sort themselves out for the run down the front straight for the first time now, we click over to lap two. And that was a pretty intense first lap. Holdsworth up the inside of turn two, gets it done. Is Vaughan able to get up the inside for the over and under trick? No, he's not. Lee Holdsworth awake to that one. That's where the experience shows through. Vaughan trying to sneak up the inside of three. Holdsworth's got it covered. But all, all this is happening, Zach Bates, he's out to a 1.7 second gap after one lap. And that is massive. Oh, and oh, oh dear. That is talking about massive. Wow. Yeah, Rossi Johnson has heavy damage to car triple three. Ben Gomesol's now got both sides of the 35 car. Holly Espray's in that one. Cade Crawford, he's the local boy. Look at the damage on the 73. Two of the TechWorks cars caught up in that one. And our BP Ultimate Safety car is just going to come out and pace the field as a result. Oh, no, is that Holdsworth? Championship leader with damage. It is. And it's right about now that... He'd be probably thinking to himself, I'm glad they introduced a rule where you can drop your worst round in this yeah, series. Wow. So that drama that he had in qualifying broken an axle. Now we'll catch a replay of this. This is Holdsworth up the inside. We see that. He's through. Is he? Yeah, he's through. That looks like it might be separate. Is it? Or is there something going on? No, there's something going on. Oh. Two separate incidents, actually. Out oh, the same place. And heavy contact for a lot of cars there. Big, deep damage. So we see here, Holdsworth gets up the inside of Crawford. Does he get it stopped? So we can't pick up that one. Whoa. And then, wow, we've bounced over the curb there. That was Zade Tones in the 27. Yeah, that one was never really going to work out. Ben Gomesol and Holly Espray unfortunately caught up with that. You can see the damage in the driver's door there of Ben Gomesol's car. Crawford involved big damage on his one. Andrew Shah's got his car moving and immediately and deciding no, probably, probably not. not a good idea. Yeah. Looks like the radiator's probably gone in that one. So, big damage. It's going to take a little while to clean this one up. Clay Richards as well. He's come in with damage. Look at the steering. That's clearly bent. But this is big news. Jimmy Holdsworth broke that axle in qualifying, put him at the back of the field. Now he's been caught up in that corner incident at turn two, that big, big incident. And that's going to have big championship implications for him this early in the year. So all the work that they were doing on the left rear corner of that car after qualifying. Going to have to do it again, boys, unfortunately. Holly Esprey's about to climb out of the Jan Jones 777. She's a, a young Norwell product. Doing a lot of work with Paul Morris and the crew out at Norwell, so plenty of damaged cars. Let's go back and check out exactly how it all started with Lee Holdsworth off the handbrake. Talk us through it, Garth. It's important to make sure you get the handbrake all the way down when you start one of these 86s cars. I got caught out with that when I did it back in 19, but Lee Holdsworth up through the gearbox nicely. Need to be nice and swift with the gearbox too wide, running down into turn two. And then we see Zach Bates up the inside, then Cameron Crick had that big dive. Holdsworth was smart, you could see it all coming. There was a bit going on behind, you could hear that contact in the rear. And it was Vaughan who managed to then get up the inside for turn three. So Lee Holdsworth right at the minute, his eyes will be on stalks, he's being assaulted both sides. Vaughan did a nice job, got up the inside. And now we're two wide through four. The run into five. Have to hold your ground here. Holdsworth does a nice job. Gives back to Smith a little bit of room on the exit. And then up the fourth gear for the run down to turn seven. 